In podcast number four, we are going to go over the basics of the eukaryotic cell cycle. Now remember, U means true. True cells have a nucleus. And because they have a nucleus, their cell, cell cycle is going to be slightly more complicated. All right, first of all, let's define what the cell cycle is. The cell cycle is defined as the time from the end of one cell division till the time of the end of the next cell division. All right, so it's the time from the end of one cell division to the end of the next. All right, now, the main part of it is, I want to get rid of that, what I just wrote over there. The main part of it is called interphase. So this is the longest. And this is the time that is interrupted or in between the two cell division. So during interphase, the cell is just doing normal cell stuff, uh, making its proteins, uh, transport materials throughout it, if it has to make a cell product, it's doing that. If it's a muscle cell, it's contracting as you move. It's doing whatever it's designed to do. Now, the shortest part of it is the actual reproductive part. And this is actually when you do cell division. And the M stands for mitotic. So this is the this part of the cell cycle where mitosis occurs. Now, remember, mitosis is division of the nucleus. And then we have cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. So cytokinesis is when the cell itself actually divides. All right. Now interphase is um, basically made up of three different phases. Now there's a little typo in here, so we're going to have to fix that. All right. You want to get rid of these growth words, and you want to replace it with gap. When I was writing this, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so you have gap phase one, and then you have gap phase two. All right, now for some reason, gap is too many letters to write, so they came up with the symbol of G1 and G2. All right, so I want to make this stuff go bye-bye, so just remember that instead of it being growth, it's a gap phase. Because I want this diagram to show up. All right, now during gap phase one, and you know what, I'm just going to take the time and write, rewrite over this. All right, so remember, that's a gap. And so is this one. All right. So during gap phase one, the cell is going to double its size. So this would be cell growth. All right. So cellular contents, excluding the chromosomes, are duplicated. So remember, duplicated means you're, you're going to be twice the size that you were before. All right. Now, once the cell reaches this point, it's got some choices. It can continue and end up with mitosis, or it can stop. And when it stops, and just stops growing and never does anything else after that, that's called G0. And basically what happens when it reaches G0 is that cell is going to live happily ever after. Okay, and it may last your entire um, happily ever after. There we go. It may last your entire lifetime. So a lot of your cells in your body are in this G0. Now if it decides it wants to go through mitosis, and then goes on to synthesis phase. Synthesis means to make. And it's during this phase you're going to do DNA replication. So duplicated. Now remember, duplicated in this sense means replication. Because you need to make sure that each of the two daughter cells has a complete set of DNA. And then you get to gap phase two in which you're going to prepare for mitosis. So Basically, you double check your DNA. You don't want any mistakes. You're going to make your centrioles, and you're going to make your um, your microtubules that are going to be used for the spindle. Now, this double checking part is really, really important because you do not want mutations to go to the next generation. Now, it's not perfect. Some of these mutations slip through, but this double checking is done by a protein called p53. P53 is really important. It's known as the guardian of the genome. And we're going to learn about in a later podcast that when P53 is defective, 
these mutations move on and that will almost invariably lead to cancers. So a lot of cancers are called by defects in these p53 genes. So remember this is called the guardian of the genome. All right, that is going to conclude podcast number four, intro to the cell cycle.